Welcome to New Strength. I'm Christina Cook Lee. New Strength is a daily devotional offering hope and encouragement to people who are trying to get and stay free from depression and or dependency. I would encourage you to read along with me. If you're viewing directly on YouTube, check the description area below the screen for instructions on how you can. Thanks for joining me. Our topic is finances. The focus, recovering from financial loss. The scripture, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 17 and 18, from the New King James Version of the Bible. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. When you're in the middle of crisis resulting from financial loss, There are a lot of things going on in your mind. An unexpected depression in your finances can bring about further depression in your emotions. You may feel as though you've suddenly been cast as a tightrope walker, thrust out onto a high wire in some sadistic circus act with no safety net. You try to move forward, but are barely keeping your balance. Reeling to and fro from the potential of falling off the thin wire, you know you should keep your eyes straight ahead but voices in the crowd below keep screaming for your attention. Some of the ones making the most noise are panic, embarrassment, resentment, fear, anger, responsibility, and pessimism. Oh, how did you ever wind up in a place like this? How are you going to get off this wire? What if you fall? Financial loss is no joking matter. Your shortfall could be the result of losing a full or part-time job, loss of child support, or the evaporation of your life savings due to fraud or a dip in the economy. Whatever the cause, financial loss can be very discouraging. While you need to do some fast thinking and restructuring, you can hardly function from the shock of your situation. Times like these are when your faith is put to the test. All the things you've been taught and told somehow don't seem like enough. Your mind is racing from one thing to another, or maybe you've run out of ideas, and you're just stuck. Well, believe it or not, getting to the place of being stuck is really better than racing and running. If you can just stop with all the ricocheting and get still, you will be able to hear the voice of God. He always has something better in mind for your future than what you imagine. While you're wondering how you will live in poverty the rest of your life, He is going about preparing wonderful things for you to enjoy. When you come to the end of your resources and have a heart filled with faith and trust in the Lord and His ability to provide, you will never be disappointed. It is a person who is doubtful and continually plays the role of the victim who should be afraid. If you have been caught in that trap, my advice is to confess your lack of faith and trust to God. Tell Him you're sorry for the way you have feared for your future and for the way you have verbalized your doubt to others, giving them the impression that God wouldn't meet your needs or that your needs were bigger than His bank account. It's very tempting to look to people when your resources are running low, but your real help is going to come from God. The best thing you can do at a time like this is pray. Sure, there are other things, like tightening up your spending, selling what you can, updating your resume, and keeping your eyes open for opportunities to earn income, but time spent in prayer will produce the best recovery you could hope for. Pray, pray, pray. God knows. God cares. But best of all, God has a plan for you that is good. He wants to see your faith and trust grow. That's why all of this has happened. You can work against Him by being resentful or feeling sorry for yourself, or you can work with Him by bravely believing He knew all of this would happen before the foundation of the world. It didn't take Him by surprise at all. When you choose to look at adversity through the eyes of faith, you can smile at the future, no matter what things might look like. God has always got your back. Start recounting the times in the past when it appeared as though you were in hopeless circumstances. Remind the Lord that you remember how He got you out of the mess you were in. He loves it when you do that. Start telling Him what a good Father He is and how well He has always provided for you. Thank Him for putting you in a situation where you can't put your trust in your bank account. Thank Him that He is your bank account and He owns everything. Express your gratitude to Him for keeping you in a position of absolute need and dependency on Him. Tell Him 
that you will never stop trusting his ability to care for you. Declaration, I will find new strength by embracing the position I am in. I will seek forgiveness for my lack of faith and trust. I will stop giving so much of my attention to panic, embarrassment, resentment, fear, anger, responsibility, and pessimism. I will face my future with a smile, knowing God has a good plan for me. Thanks for taking the time to listen. I would really appreciate it if you would like this segment. And if you wouldn't mind, please share it with someone else who might also benefit from it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the New Strength Devotional channel on YouTube or on WordPress, and then a link will come to you every day in your email with a segment like this. And if you're already a subscriber, I'll look forward to meeting with you again tomorrow. My prayer is that you will find new strength day by day and endless blessings. I'm Christina Cook-Lee.